main character syndrome where your happiness makes other people uncomfortable right well let's get a bit serious with this one because what actually is main character syndrome and in simple terms it's basically where you step into the main character role in your actual life and because you then assume the main character role in your life there's a certain energy and a vibration that then comes with that because it is more in alignment with who you are and therefore because it's more aligned with who you are anything that went before it or anything that was present before it would come into your reality based on the old energy so what then happens is we get to a point whereby our energy is what attracts in the kind of sense of magnetism or electromagnetism and then because we then become attractive from a place of said magnetism then we end up in a position whereby we're going to a point of all of our surroundings have to match that energy or that vibration and when we step into that main character energy we are basically saying that we're choosing to do things differently we're choosing a different reality and we're choosing a different outcome for ourselves and then the problem that that then kind of manifests is that anything that isn't consistent or anything that doesn't align with that new energy or that new vibration or that new way of being then becomes a problem because people around you will then start to become uncomfortable because you're no longer playing the role that they have always given you and that they are associating with who you are as an individual and then because you start to change then that highlights the fact that they themselves aren't changing and then if they're not changing then the question then becomes what then happens because if they're not going to change and you're persistent in your change then you're basically going to get to a position whereby you're moving away from them and they're in essence losing control over what they thought you were within their reality and then that gives them a sense of not being comfortable and that's because of the fact that nothing works the same way that they used to have it work and therefore what you're then doing is you're stepping into your main character energy but they're then going off onto their aligned energy from a place where their reality is no longer distorted because you're no longer playing a false role because you're now assuming your actual main character role so there's an insight into why things break down and why things ultimately change and shift because we do that's kind of one of the fundamentals of life we change we develop we grow and when we outgrow these environments then these environments try to keep us stuck or keep us restricted and then what we do is we end up in a battle to escape the old reality while also creating the new reality and therefore the main character energy of our environment and our surroundings then has to come to the forefront of exactly that and when it comes to the forefront of exactly that we start to then see a less distorted reality but one that's more aligned with who we are and then we can start ironing out all these little kinks that then mean that we can then step into our true alignment and get our reality not distorted and therefore we can start to become in control of our lives but as always until next time trust the process and it's bye for now